Holly from Baby Gizmo, and today we're taking a look at the Juvi Caboose Ultralight Graphite. This is the new sit and stand stroller for 2016 and has some new updates, so let's take a look. Now there are three main updates to the Caboose Ultralight Graphite. Now first of all, it has a graphite colored aluminum frame. That's where they get the graphite name from. Then second, it is 10% lighter than the previous version. And third, it has an extendable canopy back here that comes out of the parent console that attaches to your canopy to cover your rear rider. So now let's talk about the seat. This is what I call a stroller and a half, or some people call it a sit and stand. So it is for a child in the front, and then you can have an older child sit or stand in the rear. So it's technically a double stroller. Now the front seat, this has a weight capacity of 45 pounds, and the rear platform and bench seat has a, a weight capacity of 45 pounds, so it's with a combined 90 pound weight capacity. The front seat is 12 inches wide with an 18 inch seat back and a measurement from the back of the seat to the top of the canopy of 27 inches. There is an adjustable non-padded harness in the seat. It comes with a baby tray, which I love. It has two little cup holders or bottle holders and a place for snacks. Now this also is removable. It's not a swing away. You do have to remove it both sides like this. Just like that, so again, it's not swing away, but it does pop off, and you would take it off when you need to use the car seat adapter. It has an adjustable leg rest right here, and you pull up this bar right here, and that allows it to go down, or you put it up for the smaller babies. Now, this front seat has a three-position recline. It's a one-handed bar recline. You're going to squeeze. It goes halfway back, and that is as deep as the front seat gets. Now, the front seat is for three months and up because it is not a flat recline. Now, as you can see, when this front seat is reclined, it is going to get in the way of this back bench. So your older child is probably going to be standing if this is fully reclined because there's not going to be enough room for them to sit. If you're having that rear rider ride on the bench, you're just going to go ahead and put that seat up. Now, let's talk about this back seat. This back seat is... What I like to say for two and a half years and up, if you have an older child that's younger than that, you definitely want to look at the second seat, and I will show you that in a second. But let's show you what the stroller comes with. It has this bench with a three-point harness to keep them secure on the bench, or you can slide the bench in and they can stand on the platform. That's where the sit and stand part comes into play. Now, like I said before, if your older child is under two and a half years old, you might want to consider the Caboose rear seat to add to your Caboose Ultralight. This turns the back area into a full seat that has a recline. Now, it has a strap recline. If you can recline it back to there, so that's as deep as the recline gets. So again, you're not going to put under three to six months in this back seat either, but it is a nice option for those kids that aren't quite mature enough to sit on the bench or stand on the back platform. So it does have a five point harness back here, and then they would place their feet or legs inside the basket. So it is going to take up a little bit of your basket real estate, but I do love the fact that they do have this. This is a sold separately um, accessory. So it's called the Caboose rear seat. And also with the new addition of the expanding canopy up here for the ultralight 2016, this is going to cover that back seat. All you have to do is you zip it right here to the canopy like that and then that's going to give some type of sun protection for this rear rider. Now when you don't need the rear canopy extension, all you have to do is unzip it and it tucks away into the parent console. This neoprene console is included with the stroller. It has two bottle pockets, a pocket right here that stores that canopy extension, a zipper pocket in the back so that you can put your cell phone or your keys, and then an additional pocket here that has a piece of Velcro to keep things organized. Now let's talk about this canopy. This is a large canopy. It has a pop out sun visor that you could pop in if you didn't need it. And the can also folds forward in front of the child in case you want to follow the sun. So it's a very large canopy. Now the handlebar, it's a foam covered handlebar. It is not adjustable, but it is taller at 41 inches from ground to where I place my hands. Now this, because it is technically a double stroller, it is a two handed push. I am going to push it with two hands, especially with two kids aboard. Now let's say I just have one little baby in the front seat. I could probably navigate it with one hand. I've done it before. Not too bad, but fully loaded, definitely a two handed push, but it does provide a smooth ride with the larger wheels. So let's go down and talk to, about the wheels. Now before we get to the wheels, let me talk about this basket. It's a very large basket, but like other sit and stand stroller and a half strollers, it's kind of hard 
to get to, especially if you have a child in the rear position. Now, I have my jujube bag. It's a pretty large bag. I can get it in there. You have to go right in by the, plat the platform if they sit, and it does fit with no problem, but that is the way you're gonna get into the basket is right by this rear um, bench. So if they were sitting on it, it'd be very hard to get in and out with your bag, but not to worry, it is large enough. Now, it's time for the wheels. The stroller rolls on six and a half inch hard rubber wheels. There's single ones in the back and double ones in the front. These front ones are 360 degree swivel wheels, but the ability to lock straight if you pull up that white piece right there. Now, I highly suggest that you lock the front wheels if you're taking it on a little bit of all terrain to just grasp, playground mulch, and gravel. That's gonna keep it from getting caught up in every bump. But if you're just navigating around the city, keep them in swivel mode. There is a connected one-step brake back here. You can step on either side. It's going to lock the stroller into place and then lift up and that's going to let it go free. Now the Juvie Caboose Ultralight can also become a travel system with the included universal car seat adapter. Now you just pop off the baby tray and you pop on the adapter. Put your front seat in the middle reclined position. I have a Cymex Cloud Q infant car seat here. You go ahead and you set it in the seat so it is securely in there and set on the car seat adapter. On either side there are pockets which they have straps. You're going to take those out, feed it through the infant car seat vehicle belt pass on both sides like that. Buckle it, tighten it, and that is your extra safety security right there. And that's going to keep the infant car seat safe in the stroller. Now since you only reclined this halfway, you can still have a child stand on the back platform and still have plenty of room. Um, you're not going to be able to get, well, if you actually put back your handlebar, you could still shave the child a little bit with the canopy as well and then just match them up like that and that's going to keep your baby protected from the sun. Now, like I said at the beginning, there are three updates. You have the extension canopy back here for the rear rider. You have the graphite colored frame, and you have the fact that it's 10% lighter. The stroller weighs in at 24 pounds, which is really great for a double stroller. Now, let's just show you how to fold it quick. Just put your canopy all the way forward. There are two white levers right here. You're going to lift up, fold the entire thing forward like this. There is a manual lock on the side, and that is your folded package. Now, it's not too bad. Now, it's not going to fit in like a mini Cooper trunk, but it's not too bad of a compact package. Um, you will fit it in a lot of sedan trunks and, of course, minivans as well. Um, so you just want to keep that footrest up, and that is your folded package. And then to unfold it, all you have to do is unlock that manual lock right over here on the side open it up like that, position your canopy and you're good to go. So that's it. That is the Juvie Caboose Ultralight Graphite 2016 version. Comes in four different colors. It, I love the fact that it comes with a parent console and I like that rear seat. So like I said, if your older child is still under two and a half, definitely consider getting the accessory of the rear seat. And I love the fact that, you know, they added this extra canopy because you know, you want some protection back there too. So that's it for me. What did you like best about this journal? Leave me a comment and let me know. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Holly from Baby Gizmo. Bye.